Adobe Captivate 9 gives you access to thousands of assets from the eLearning Brothers. Let's walk through how to browse and use these assets. In Captivate 9, click on the Assets button, and the eLearning Brothers library will launch. In this window, you can browse all sorts of templates. We have games, cutout people, interactions, scenarios, course starters, themes, layouts, navigation players, and intros. As the eLearning Brothers create new content, that content will automatically get added to this library for you to use right away. New templates will be showcased right here on the home page. As you download files, they are placed into various areas of Captivate 9. Characters are downloaded to the Characters panel, themes are downloaded to the Themes panel, and other files are downloaded into the Sample Projects and Others folders on your computer. Let's see some examples of this. If I want to download a cutout person to use in my course, I would come to the top navigation bar and hover over Cutout People. I can choose from photorealistic or illustrated characters, and I can choose an industry to browse. From this page, I can hover over a cutout person to see a larger thumbnail, or I can narrow my search down even further by using the new gray navigation bar at the top of the results page. When I find the character that I want, I can click on it to view all of the image associated with that character. I can hover over the image to download it immediately, or I can click to bring up some more information about that particular image. Once I download my chosen size, I will see a window that lets me know that my character is downloaded and where to find it. So right here we can see that it says that the image is located in the Media Characters window. So if I close out of the Asset Store and navigate to Media Characters, I just need to select the Assets category from the Category dropdown, and all of the characters that I have downloaded from the Asset Store will appear. I can choose whether I want a close-up, a half, or a full-sized image, and then if I click OK, that image will populate directly onto my stage. Now if I download a theme, that theme will appear in the Themes window. All right, now let's talk about some of the other files available in the Assets window. Any file you download that is a CPTX file, which is any template file that is not a cutout person or a theme, will be dropped into the Sample Projects folder on your computer. Any other files, such as PowerPoint templates or any graphic source files, will be downloaded to the Others folder. So for example, I will go to Captivate Games, and download the Game Show Business 01 template. Now when downloading any file that is not a cutout person, the download window will show an option that will allow you to open the folder location of the template you've downloaded. Just click that and a window will pop up with all of the templates you've downloaded. Now since I'm on a PC, I can see that this folder is located in the Public Documents, Adobe, eLearning Assets, Sample Projects folder. If you are on a Mac, that folder will be under Documents, My Adobe Captivate Projects, and then either the Sample Projects or Others folder. To open the template, all I have to do is double click the Captivate file, and the game will pop up. I can then copy and paste it into another project, or edit it right from there. You can also view any template that you've downloaded from the Captivate launch screen by clicking the Sample Projects icon in the corner. Any Captivate file that you've downloaded will show up here. So there you have it. The eLearning Brothers assets make it so simple to create engaging and awesome eLearning content. Go ahead and give it a shot.